Hello there YouTube fans, here again and I figure why not with me on his 80s marathon if I've not finished doing that there I figure the sequel to one of my favourites what I reviewed months and months and months ago that being the original Hellraiser why not this one? why not this one? from 1988 Hellraiser 2 Hellbound that's right Hellraiser 2 Hellbound I remember reviewing this one before and in all fairness, I don't like this one. I like this one even more than the original. But I still like the original. It's still a tacit by Dave Barker. So without ado, Hellraiser 2, Hellbound. Why not? Why not? So it starts off, it shows the little bits of what happened in number one. And then you get the final one. And I love the music in this. It's very epic. It's just like the original one. It's a different type of music. But again, very, very epic. Very memorable. And very, very cheaper. There's some noisy kids, we've got a few noisy kids as usual, but obviously they'll fuck off in a minute. So you've got a good bit of music, and now you've got the character Tiston again. So you see an obstacle, talking a bit of what happened in number one. And you've got this one dirt in it, it's a music thing, it's like a Rubik dirt, it's good with puzzles. But you've got the idea, she doesn't talk, she sort of moot. But you get a bit of a story there halfway through. You get a bit of a story halfway through. On why that is to be. And I try and remember, I'm kind of forgetting that to be read. Uh, I try and forget really how, uh, how much imagination this film has. It really does have a lot of imagination because what it does, what it does, it shows a maze like a labyrinth. If you remember the movie Labyrinth with David Bauer, it's a bit like that, but what, what would happen if Labyrinth was turned into an horror film? Let's have a look at it, because when they go in this maze, you've got sister, you've got this dirt, you can't talk. And when it gets going, it gets going, right? It really does get going. So this, this is where you get a lot of characters from the original. You bring back the evil fucking Julia from the original one. And the one I've got now is the diet just cut. The diet just cut's not a lot to one home about, so that. It's got a lot more blood, it's got a lot more dough, it's definitely uncut. There's a few extra scenes that was not in the theatrical version. There's a bit where Tiston thinks he's in her house and you've got all these bugs and the house breaks open and you find out the side mites are fucking me for. Like I say, it's a lot more uncut and there's a lot more traffic and there's a few little bits that wasn't shown in the theatrical. But it's not a lot to know about, but it does need to be that hit if you get the um, strong uncensored version the one that I've got by Dave Parker so like I say you've got the dirt and you've got this doctor who reverberates his studio from the bed remember in the original bed where they find a body and it's a bit, it reminds me a bit of thank because she's all got no stain and so on and instead of killing men she's killing women to get a stain back and that's when they bring back the cyanides Pinhead comes back, and that's the bit where I say she's in a maze, in like a labyrinth. And I like that. To me, as a imagination, has a hell of a lot more going for it, than, 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 unlike some of the shit they make nowadays. And again, it was done by New World Pictures. But I like the bit of it. The doctor's all the way through it. you got idea, he fancies Julia, she fucking suckers him, she pusses him in his lift. Again, on the uncut one, it's also more traffic. There's a bit of his fingers in his head, and it sucks out his brain. His thing cuts through his face, and then he turns into this big fucking monster. And something else I like about this one is it tells the story of how Pinhead becomes Pinhead. So it's in, like, yeah, it's in the early war. He finds that box, he's fucking with it. And again, on the uncut one, shows a lot more meat to the feds. It burns his head, it burns his back, it fucking spatters those fucking pins all over his face and on his head, and that's how he becomes Pinhead. So I kind of like that little touch, so I kind of like that little gnome, made it interesting, made it unique. So, like I say, you've got the Dirt Tiston again, there's a bit where I said, which is only in the diet, just caught, there's a bit where Tiston thinks he's in her house. And she's a photo of Julia, and then the house turns to blood, and you've got all these bugs, and then the house just blows up in front of Turster, 
and then the sign lights are there laughing it's a little bit like in the theatrical but you don't actually see because it, it was taken out on the director's cut you do actually see that but you find out the sign lights are basically fucking with her and then there's that bit where pinhead says you're in our world now. No, no, no. This will not work on us. Choose. Go wherever you want to go. We've got all eternity for your threats. I don't love that little tuts. I really do love that little tuts in the film. I've always uh, do Hellbound. So there, you've got the dirt in it. I said, one who doesn't talk. You find out her story was. Well, that doctor, right? The doctor I just mentioned. He apparently killed the mum and he did something to her and that's why she's never spoken. But I do love the bit in it where the estate and Julia gets rips of skin off, you get a bit of fank, it makes a small appearance. I love the bit where he's about to tie it on with his niece, then very fucked up. And she says, You can go to hell. And she folds that thing, burns all his skin off. You think Julia's gonna be another love interest and she says, Nothing personal, baby from the original she rips a big chunk out of his heart before all that there's a bit where there's going to be a love interest between Thirsty and this new guy because the other they wanted to play the boyfriend they didn't want to be back in this, in this one for some reason and there's a bit where she gets the fess and she looks like she's snogging him and she's sucking the life out of him that being Julia and it's like I said on Elm Street 4, it kind of reminds me of Elm Street 4, but I've got to admit, Hellraiser 2, Hellbound, it was a lot more daffic, it was a lot more vicious, that scene. But she gets killed halfway through it, Julia. But I do love the bit, as I was about to say. I do love the bit where they're going in the obstacle again, they've got out this big maze of the labyrinth, you've got to see what the moves about, and they got it Dodd, which is their Dodd. The evil doctor comes in and kills all the patients. I love the bit where the dirt doesn't talk, says one line. She says, she looks dead straight, she looks at him and like that, and she says, shit. <laughs> the only line they did, apart from the one scene where she's in the maze, and she says, she says a line, mummy. There's another bit where they come in and like I say, surgery is about to begin, and the daughter says, shit. <laughs> I do love that bit, it does make me laugh. Um, but there, the what happens is the Simites all turn back to human. That evil thing kills all the Simites. Pinhead gets his fault slit. They get the justice on that evil doctor thing. He gets his head ripped off. They destroy the dog with all the maze. And basically, it's a happy ending. So I didn't really mind this one. I'd say it came out in 1988. It was a sequel to the Tacit Dave Parker's Hellraiser. And it became as successful as the first one, being Hellraiser 2, Hellbound. I didn't mind this one. I actually like the imagination in it. I like the fact that it was in a maze, it was in a labyrinth. They haven't had a lot of fancy in it. There are some bits where I've got to admit the uncut one does, does have a lot more of an impact. When I first saw Hellraiser 2, I saw the theatrical, and the theatrical. It's there, it's there, but the uncut one definitely has more meat to the feds. I would recommend for anyone who's ever seen the uncut version of Hellraiser 2, Hellbound, find it. Sad to say, it's very hard to get on DVD in this country, but if you can ever get it, I think it's been on the other channel a few times on Star, whether it still is now is a different story. But if you can ever find it, I would, I strongly would recommend get the uncut version there's a lot more meat there's a lot more fire there's a lot more prequels there's a lot more traffic it's definitely a lot more meat to the bone that being hellraiser 2 hellbound into then i do some more movies more movie reviews more things about politics and have a ball why not why not but into then be smart be safe see you later